Hi everyone, my name is Hayden and welcome to my channel. I am a full-time software engineer currently working remote. In this video, I'm gonna tell you how to install Ant Design to make your website look cool because I have got zero design skills. So quickly before we start, I just wanna give a kind of introduction of what Ant Design is. It's basically a components library in React where they've kind of pre-made the stuff to look cool already for you. So you can kind of just drag and drop buttons in or import buttons from the Ant Design library and they just look cool already or, you know, drop downs or combo boxes or anything like that. Because when you're building a website on your own, it takes so long to kind of style every button perfectly and make it look good. And if you don't really have an eye for design, you know, it can be a bit of a tedious exercise. So Ant Design looks cool out the box. You stick it in your website it looks fantastic so you know win-win there'll be a link in the uh, description for ant design website so you can obviously go down there and check it out cool so if you followed along in my last video you'll be up to this point here in the uh, tutorial you'll have a blank website as you can see i've switched to firefox now because i'm super into privacy you, you'll basically have a blank website uh, which will just have this on it and then we just need to go into our project and install and designs so how do we do that you go npm install uh, ant d and that will go off and do its thing Cool, lovely job, that has now finished installing, uh, so we can get rid of that, we can close down the terminal, and if we come to our package.json, you can see we have this bad boy here, and design, cool, so we can go there, so what you can probably, uh, so with Ant Design, you can basically drag and drop components that they've pre-built into you, uh, in for you, so for example, Paul, we can say uh, import, what do we wanna say, let's say date uh, picker, from ant design uh, and then all I need to do is and let's start the project would help as well cool so you <laughs> might be saying well that doesn't look very good does it which I'll agree with you it doesn't so the the component like the HTML is actually being ported obviously from ant design and when we do this uh, you know import date picker here uh, up here from Ant Design, and then we literally import the HTML down here. You know, we find we've we've imported the component, but the problem is we haven't got any of the style sheets. So uh, that's why it looks like this on the screen, where it just kind of looks a bit crap. So if we refresh that now, and what we need to do is go in and import the uh, CSS from that. If I come into index.jsx, and then basically at the top here, right under import CSS, I want you to do. Uh, import this which is the ant design style sheet and you can see now when i close this and save the entire website should refresh and you can see we've now got this nice styled uh we've got this <laughs> it seems to have had a got a bit of a weird let's put in a break line there so yeah you can see now we've gone from the kind of old looking one with like the gray square boxes to now when i hover over it you can see it changes color uh, you know, I click this button, you know, a lovely little drop down appears. I can rotate left and right. I can say what the date is today. Um, you can see what day I recorded the video. Ooh. You know, it's got this little close button. It's got all the CSS and the styling that's come with it. Um, and that's why these kind of component libraries are fantastic. You import them in, you import their style sheets. So all I've done is literally imported date picker from Ant Design. I've gone into index.jss and also imported that. And that's all I need to do. And now I get these amazing style components. I've got, you know, thousands of things that I can pick from in here. I've got buttons, you've got cards, uh, you've got carousel items, you've got all sorts of things that you can import in here and use. And even these, like, for example, even this date picker component will have like, uh, I don't know how I get this actually in JavaScript, but this will have, ooh, no. Um, but this date picker, if you actually go on the Ant Design website, which is here, uh, and then look up, for example, where's date picker? Time picker, date picker. If you go on this website, look, it will see you all the different kind of like ways that you can do stuff. So you can have two dates, you can have uh, uh, something else here, you can have like a custom format date. They have inputs as well, so on change, you know, you can you can call a function that you've created, you can give it a class, you know, pick me weeks, months, quarters, year. So this is every year, you know, here. This is every quarter, this is every month. Um, so you really have like the, um, customization so let's do that so if I come into here and let's say we only want to pick you know yearly then I can just say pick picker equals year save that go back to my component and now this is a uh, year picker and I can save that now and go month picker go a week 
fantastic. You know, look at this. This is this is cool. So basically, just off-the-shelf components that you can use in your uh, app. Perfect. There we go. So that's what I wanted to show you in this video. It's basically just importing these Starlast components packages and using them. Uh, super easy, super quick, great for prototyping. Just takes all of the kind of designness away from you. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I hope you you know found something useful from this. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day. See you later.